Hey, Mark. Hey, how are you? Good. So we uh, did the three worst schools in Barrie. Yeah, we did. So now we're going to do the three best. Yeah, I'm excited to do that. You know, we put some work into it and you've got the tab set up and, um, you know, a couple of things before we, we chat about that, you know, we got some good feedback. We got a few educators that have hopped on and put some comments on. So, you know, thanks for that. And, and some of them communicated that, you know, again, I agree with them too. I agree with them, but we're looking at this from a measuring stick versus, you know, what the school, because we have no idea what the school's like in general, right? We don't have kids that go there, you know, they're suggesting, you know what, have the parents go to the schools, interview them, you know, talk with the administrators, take a tour, et cetera, which makes total sense, right? Because, you know, but most people in our, you know, our prospects and our clients, number one, you know, they want, where's a good school? Our, you know, we want a high ranking school. And that's what our job is to say, well, here's a high ranking school. You know what the other thing is, Mark, unfortunately, there's only really one measurement, which is the rankings, right? There's no really other measurement or no other way to go about it. If there was, we could do it, but sure. there's not. So, sure. and, and we're not the only people like people moving into the city would look at the same thing. Cause that's all there is to look at. Right. Well, I know. And as we go through the tabs, maybe too, you know what I mean? We'll always refer to the, you know, the website above, you know, www. So people can invest. Fraser. The... Yeah. 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 Fraser, right. Fraser Institute. But the other right. thing is rankings do change over the years. They do. They do. Now Codrington, which is the best elementary school, one of the best, there's only three ranked in the highest and yep. they've always been the highest. Yep. Yep. I know. So we'll share the screen here. And and we don't know why. Obviously, it's got to come to do with teachers. You think something, about it. Yeah, something Something's must be working. going on. Yeah. So there's only three in Barrie. Yeah. Uh, this is the Codrington Public School over here. Okay. Um. So the green is 7.6 to 10, right? Correct. Yep. And then over... It's over in the West End. Oakley? Nope. Or the Codrington. There's Codrington. There's this. No, that's the East. Right. That's over by Arda. St. Catherine of Siena School. So it's a, it's a Catholic. Codrington's public. Okay. That's right on. That's right on uh, St. Cat's. That's right beside Arda Bluff. So Avery's old school. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. It's a Catholic school. Okay. Yeah. Great and area. And then uh, over. The one on Prince William Way. Right. Uh, yeah, that's I'm one. getting across. You know, it seems like once we're on the call, I can't move as fast. Yeah, that's so, okay. Yeah, normally I can move a lot faster, but it's like once we're recording. Yeah. Slows down. It's um, it's the newer one in Prince William Way, which I remember I was showing a client there one time. <laughs> And she said, oh, they, that, you know, they have one of the best schools in the area here. Yeah. And yeah. there's only three in the whole city with that 7.6 to 10 ranking. Yeah. Yeah. Hewitt's Creek Public School. Yeah. No. Ranked, you know, and again, what's the website up here, Dan? What you got up here? Compare school rankings org. Yes. Right. It's the what? Fraser Institute school, school rankings. Okay. I see. So if someone wants to investigate that, go there. Yeah. So those are the only three that are high in the whole flipping city anyway. The rest are all mid. mid. Um, so I'll show you the um, areas. Yep. So Codrington. And most of these, like Thea goes to Oakley Park and they're all walkers. There's not even buses here unless there there's a French program. Okay. So this is all Codrington Public School here, and it's the wet, it's the East End, right? Correct. But like Cook goes all the way down. It only like it doesn't go. Okay, for example, Wellington, um, Saint Vincent to Wellington, and it stops. Duckworth okay. to Queen, and it stops. Okay. Yeah. So like Duckworth goes all the way from the bottom to the top. Yeah. So does Cook. Yeah. Go to St. Vincent. It goes all the way, but you know, it stops. It's basically the East end. 
So let me ask you a question. So anything in this, any of these streets that Napier, Bowman, Codrington, Blake, Rodney will go to Codrington Public School, correct? Yes. Elementary. Okay. Nelson, yep. and then it kind of, what about Wor Worsley and Collier? No? Or nope. everything? Well, no. Worsley, only a little bit of it. See, just right. that little wee piece. Collier, just a little wee piece. That lots the same thing. Okay. And then it stops. I see. Okay, makes sense. So okay. it's, it, it, you know, you got to kind of, you know, if you see, oh, Worsley goes to Codrington, no. <laughs> it does, but like probably 20 houses. Got it. Okay. So and the other one was... Um, can I can I ask you a question before you go further? So that map is up here, attendance area maps where someone could go. You and, go and, to Simcoe County District School Board. Okay. And you can do the same in the, in the public or in the Catholic. And there's attendance area maps. Okay. Got it. Okay. So cool. the other one in the south end was Hewitt Creek, right? Correct. Prince William Way. Sandringham. So this is all same thing. Yeah. But look at the whole subdivision doesn't go there either. No, it cuts off. You can see it, eh? Like parts of Sandringham. Yes. Not parts Corn of Sovereign's Gate. Right. Yep. It cuts. I think this is Prince William right here, the main road that goes down. Yeah, I do too. Or is this Prince William? Mm, I, I think you're in because Sovereigns is off there too. I think oh, but this is Majesty and Sun King. That's the first street. So this is Prince <laughs> not William. Prince William. This is Prince William Way right here, I believe. This anyway, one over here, I think. This one. Well, or this one. Matter. It doesn't matter. That's it's not labeled, but that's okay. It's in the it's in that area, but we can kind of see and look how far it goes back to Loyalist Camelot, Camelot Pioneer. Jewel House, like it crosses Big Bay Point. It does. But then these people over here don't go there. Yeah. So any of that new development probably won't be going there. No. Wonder where they would go to. Well, there's a new school across the road now. Remember that new school they built across the road on Maple View, that giant school? It's right on uh, Maple View. That's yeah, high school. Well, there well, unless they go to um in Barry to Warnica. Mm. Yeah. That could I don't be. know. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Isn't that funny? Yeah. There's a couple schools in that area too, but I know Hewitt's Creek. There's two, I think. I know Hewitt's Creek was always ranked pretty high. It, it, yeah. It, it's always been. And the other one is, is uh Catholic. So we can't see it, but I can show you on realtor.ca here. Okay. So I got the area. So here's the Codrington public school right here. Okay. And this is a little area that goes there. Correct. Correct. Okay. So Highland is like 860, Rodney, a million ninety-five. Lakeview Crescent, 945. Yep. So like look at that seven seven thousand dollars a month. Yeah, that's that that's pretty cheap, eh? That's cheap, right? <laughs> yeah, I'll take two. There's another one on Rodney, three thousand a month on Strabane. Uh -huh. Just off so like the area right around it is actually kind of expensive. Yeah. And they are saying, did you get the high and lows or kind of, I was just well, no, I'm, I, yeah, I'm just doing it this way where we can see like, okay. there really isn't any really lows. No, no. 839. Like these areas, you know, they're kind of all high really. Yeah. So, yeah. um, and I guess that could be just the listings we're getting right now. I don't know. Yeah, it's possible. I mean, but that old, that East End area, like it's always been an area where, you know, low turnover, prices are kind of high, right? Larger lots, close to the waterfronts. Yeah. Like, and you know there. what? Everything is close by there. Like, again, if you go on education, it, it will tell you Codrington Public School, Steel Street Public School. Yep. Like it'll give you what's in the area and yep. the amenities and all that, that are, that are close by there. Um, yep. The statistics is the income is 61 for individual family is 143. Yeah. Population is a big spread, but a lot of older people, eh? It's always been that way because people don't leave that area. I know. 
I got clients that their kids are married and, and have their, their grandparents now, and they're in their late fifties and they've been there for 30 years and they're not moving. Yeah, I know. It's don't move. Well, well, and look at this. Owners, 74%. Renters, only 25%. Single detached, 75%. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. they're not, it's not a, a rental area. It's, they, there is a couple apartment buildings. There is. There but is. not a lot. Not a ton. No, not a ton. Mostly 63% single family. Yeah. 29% single person. Yeah. There's your education levels. They're almost the same everywhere in Barry. It's not, it's yeah. actually not. I know. It's kind of nothing jumps out. 92% English. Yeah. So that kind of gives us a feel for that area. They're all expensive, but they're older homes. Older homes. They Bigger are. lots. Bigger lots. Yep. Right. Some of them don't have garages. It's actually pretty common. It's very common there. And it's still listed at 860,000. And this one doesn't have one either. No. It, it, for the audience out there, that's a really good area. So, you know, people that are looking to move in the community and are really concerned with the school zone, Look at East End Barry. It's it's a great area. And yes, the homes are older, but I'm telling you, you have great neighbors and you have very low turnover. And the lots are huge. Lots are huge. Yep. What are you going to cover off now? Um, I'm going over to um US Creek. St. Catherine. Okay. This yeah. Is, this is the other one, right? The next one, right? Yes. And there's not too many listings in that area either. No. And they're all expensive. <laughs> yeah, there's the range, right? I mean, you know, you could, you know, I know the area well. You should live in that area. It's a great area, and they got a great public school. Art of Bluffs is too. It's a fantastic school. Right around the corner, there's a there's a uh, two high schools that are pretty close. Bear Creek and, and St. Joan of Arc is walking distance from from St. Cats. Great areas. Um, lots of amenities. Quick access to 400 homes anywhere from. Let's go 850 to 1.2, 1.3, depending on the yeah, area. Yeah, so there's a little one on Cunningham. I don't know if this is their school, uh, school zone. Um, for like a townhouse is 700, a mid-unit. But I don't even know. I don't even think they go to that school way over here. No. And make sure we go to that attendance map to see the streets, because that's really good information. So 22 Greyhawk is a little bungalow. Greyhawk's expensive <laughs> street, 899. Yep. Um, look at the taxes, 5,600 bucks. I know because it's in, it's in land America. values high. Right. Yeah. And just so people know your taxes get based on your assessed value. So if your assessed value is higher and the house is worth more, you get taxed more. So this one is definitely the St. Catherine of Siena and Ardal Bluffs. Both good schools. Yeah. So we're like definitely the, and so the statistics here will help us. We're in the right neighborhood for that school. Put it that way. Okay. I still want to go back to tenants. Just to map out the streets, just for my own too. Because it's such a good, it's such a big area over there. Okay. So the average income, 66. Family income, 157. Yep. Look at the population, 35 to 49. Yeah. Young families. Way, way more. Way more. Way look more. At look at the kids in that area. Yep. People go to that area. Schools are all walking distance. Mm -hmm. Nice and easy. Great area. And look at the single detached. Yeah. Look at the renter, 6%. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you got some nice pockets over there. Oops. Yeah, and it's expensive there. Like, you can't really find any really low ones. <laughs> no, you, you, you don't. No, and I know. They like, they, because they're, they're all higher end. Yeah, they are. 90% single family. Yeah. Education is the same here. Pretty much. But you got a little bit more with bachelor degrees, but. And the language is 89% English. 8.9% English and French. Yeah. There's a bit of mix though. Interesting though. Yeah. Yeah. Can you, can you go back to the tenants map to map out the streets? I'd, I'd be curious. I can't. Oh, oh, you can't go, you can't map out the streets on that? Not on this one. Um, it's a Catholic board. Oh, I see. Oh, you're right. I see. Yeah. Okay. 
Sorry, I get it now. Yeah. Yeah, that's the problem. Okay. I think it's that one little area. Like if you look here, Eaglestone, you're gonna get Bell on there. You're gonna get Dunnett on there. You're gonna get. Uh, oh, there's a couple other. Probably a bit. It's of right in here. Yeah. Okay. I you probably won't get Gore though. No, I don't think Gore has that, its own that, school. Yeah. Um, so it's for, probably you know Eagles. Uh, um, this area in here. Grant's way. It's a big, it's a big pocket in here. Yeah. This whole little area in here. Just think, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, um, the cat, I'd have to, I, I'd have to find the Catholic school bar map. Yeah, that's fine. We, we pretty well know the area. It's a great yeah. area. So the viewers, I mean, it's, it's one of the best areas in Barry. It's kind of central West. It's West, but it's in the middle. Yeah. And the, the density is not crazy. Like Holly. No, right? no. They're, well, they're, they're bigger, bigger homes, bigger big homes. lots, bigger lots, a lot of ravines on there. Um, great walking trails in the in the bluffs. Outstanding area. Mm -hmm. And now we're going over to the Prince William Way one. Okay. And that is should be right in here, right? There's Prince William. There it is. Prince William, right? Um, so here we have ranges of, yeah. okay, the 875, a million 80, 719 for a little townhouse. Here we go. So this would be the low. Yeah, that'd be the low in that area. They're cute, right? Yeah, good street. Little lots. Yeah. So that would be the low. There's the neighborhood. So Hewitt's Creek, yeah. So this is definitely, we're in the right school zone. We're in the right school zone. And go to the attendance map when we're done. This is the one that stops at Prince William and only the yeah. west side and the east side, none of them go there. Yeah, yeah. Remember? Yeah, yeah, that's right too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, it's so a, I'm shocked that the income's a little bit lower in this area because there's some big homes in that. Well, you know what? There is, but, and we're going to look at one or two, but the issue is, is that there's also a lot of townhouses. There is, there is, there is, yes. And first-time buyers. There is, yeah. Right? So population, yeah, see, you kind of see that. Young families, right? Yep. Lots of kids. Lots Young families. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's it. 82% owners, 17% renters. Yeah. 81% single detached. Yeah. 85% single family. There is some single, only 11% single people over there. Yeah. It's a family area. It is. And this is the education levels. Mm -hmm. So... Well, the language is, I think, same thing. English, 92%. Yeah. 6.5. There's 3% Spanish, 2.7 Russian, Mandarin, Ch Chinese, French. This one's got it. Yeah, it's got some. Yeah. Some uh, diversity. Mm -hmm. Good area. I mean, it's a great area. Oh, it and is. Well, why? I want to see. A lot more density over there, though, compared to Art of Bluffs area. Yes. Here we go, Mark. Sun King. 1.259. Yeah. And you know, it's 4.3 beds. Yeah, I think that listing's been listed. But it looks dated. It's very dated. It's very overpriced, the way it shows. I think... I think there's real estate agents that own that, if I'm not mistaken. I've seen that listing many times. I'm okay, let's try to find another one because I don't like that one. Let's try this one. It's this is also 1278. Yeah. I don't I don't love that part of of uh in a shore in there. Sun King's a busy street because it goes through other subdivisions over to Commonwealth, 
Or, I don't or, like that either. I like the other side, Sandringham and stuff. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Much better. Yeah. I mean, this is a big house. Yeah. Kitchen's dated. Yeah. It is hard. It is wood floors. Yeah. Where the other one, like this, it's a little bit better, but kitchen's still dated. At that price point, you could do much better than that. That property. Walkout basement. Yeah. Well, look at this. Big lot. It's not something. It's busy street. It's busy. It's backing onto nothing. Yeah. Nice size lot. It's got some pluses. I just, I'm just not a big fan of that, that pocket in there. I think the price is too high. So what I want to do now with this is see if it's the same. It should be exactly the same. Oh, average income 57, family yeah. 140. Yep. Yeah. It actually went down on the other one that was just around the corner. Yeah. Similar with, you know, again, family areas. We can see 35 to 49 is the biggest demographic there. Mm -hmm. Families. And they've got a lot of schools in that area. St. Saint, Saint Pete's is a Catholic school in that area. The new one on Maple, on Maple View. Yeah, that St. Pete's is the high school. Yeah. And there's and another... Uh, What's the other school there? Public, not a, uh, Warnica. There's Warnica's right behind St. Pete's, and then there's there's that other one across the road on Mapleview, but that's a high school too. That's cool. I don't know if any of them go into Stroud at all to Sunnybrae. I don't think so. No, I don't think so either. No, 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 no. And so here so, we have owners eighty four percent, renters fifteen percent. There's some townhouses in there. You can see eleven point eight percent. There's 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 going to be some rentals on the streets, and there's mm -hmm. going to be detached with some renters uh you know in that area as well well you see a little bit of difference too with 83 percent single family yeah the other areas we were looking at were in the 90s yes education level a lot more lower actually and yeah, so i see that too again i encourage everybody to start looking more at these icons on realtor.ca to get yourself familiar with it it has a lot of great information i'm going to tell you right now no one's going on there. No, it, it works. It works really, really good. It's really good. It sh people should be getting an idea of what that what that pocket and community is is the makeup of that area, mm -hmm. right? Is there kids in the area? Where's the schools? You know, is there what's the density like? Is there what type of homes? It's all there, folks. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you a story. So I went to visit. Um, one of our YouTube fans yesterday that have moved here mm -hmm. and he didn't realize that the bus route, his wife doesn't drive and the bus route uh, is 1.5 kilometers. The school is from his house and he has to be 1.6 kilometers. Yep. And uh, it's a new build area. It's all full of mud. There's no, there's no walkways. There's no sidewalks. There's nothing. Yep. And his kids have to walk that far in the morning. I think his daughter's seven. Yeah. And yeah. he said, I didn't realize when we bought this, how terrible this is. He said, like we lived in Toronto yeah. and the school was across the road. And he yeah. said, now mm -hmm. they got across Maple View. Very busy street. Got to go crazy. down Madeline. Yeah. And plus walk through all the way through their subdivision. Yeah. Which is a gong show right now. Oh, for sure. It's going to be that and, way. For and he said, this is what's crazy. One street past him, there's going to be one more street north that they're building now. Mm -hmm. They're going to get a bus. Yeah. And he, and he won't. Yeah. That's something wrong. Eh? Yeah. It kind of sucks. Because so, they're going to be, they're going to be past the 1.6 kilometer or whatever it has to be, or 1.5. So yeah. they're going to get it. Yep. Yeah. Because they're past the, the thing, but he, his kids are not. Yeah. So he even said, like, if I would have known that, I like, I, I wouldn't have bought here. 100%. You got to do your homework on that stuff. His wife doesn't drive. Yeah. So like, and it's a far walk. It's a far walk. Yeah. I know they're walking far and that's the thing, right? Call the school. We give everybody the tools that can, can navigate themselves around and find out what the school is based on their location they're looking at. Ask a lot of questions. Well, and you know what? You can actually go on 
on those school websites, the school boards, mm -hmm. and and put in an address, and it'll tell you if it's bust or not, and the distance to the school. That's right. Yeah. No. Which he didn't do, but he should have. Should have. Anything else you want to talk about schools? Cover the best three. No. And they're all in great areas. They're all in great areas. That I'll say. They right? are. What a bluffs. Great area. Lots there. Quick access. Shopping. Not so high density. More single detached homes. Lots of kids. Parents probably work in the city. Commuters. Um, Codrington. We know this. We know the East End. East End. East area. Low, low, low turnover. Right. So there's there's some there's there's and some then the South End. It's funny because there's one in the South, one in the East, and one in the West. Yeah. Yeah. No, they're spread out and they're all good areas. So someone looking for school zones, I'm telling you right now, look at those areas. We, you know, we know those areas great and, and they really check the boxes off for a lot of things. Mm -hmm. With, you know, some like I said, we went through Sun King. We don't both don't love that area, but across the road, sign me up. I know yeah. it's funny, eh? Yeah, it is, especially over in Jewel House. I love that pocket over there. Well, you know what? It's almost though, yeah, Jewel House really nice. But it's yeah. almost like that. Um, it's a different builder on Sun King and Majesty. It is it is? It, it was. Is. Yeah, yeah, I agree. All right. Well, you enjoy your evening. Yes, you too. Hey, thanks. Any questions? Uh, you know what? Reach out to us. Give us a like, share, leave us a comment. Uh, I'd love to help you out. See ya. See ya.